I'm back to review another Nanook case, but this time I'm reviewing the 963. This is their big dog. This is their largest that you can check luggage size case. And this thing is beefy. Let's talk about it. So just like in my last Nanook review video, this one has some similarities and some differences from the Pelican cases. I like to thank my friends at Nanook for sending this case no charge. All of my opinions are my own. These are unbiased, but I did want to say that they did send me this at no charge to review. Since this is comparable to the Pelican 1615, it's the same size and the same general shape, but that's where it stops. This thing has a lot of differences and I'm gonna tell you about them. Number one is the Nanook style latches. I love these latches. The more I've been using them, the more I like them. It's a two stage latch and then it also locks into place once you put them down there. So you don't have to worry about them reconnecting. At first I was wondering if they were gonna be strong enough, but after using them more, I have no doubts that these are plenty strong enough to last on the road, on planes, on tour buses, whatever it is that you're using them for. Also, like all of the Nanook cases, the top has a more smooth design. It doesn't have the ridges across there, and that is one of the things that I loved most about the smaller Nanook case. And one of the differences with this Nanook case versus the smaller one is that the handle isn't that two-stage, but it is spring-loaded, so that is really great, so you don't have to worry about it getting caught nearly as easily when you're on a plane or if you're throwing in the bus. The slide-out handle is pretty much the same as the other one, just bigger. It's that two-stage locking handle. It feels nice and sturdy. I have no complaints with that one. And then the wheels on this. These are, again, more of the rollerblade style wheels, but they're really thick. These things I like more than on the smaller ones. Since they are thicker, they feel more durable. Now there's still a rubber coating on them and that probably isn't going to hold up as well as something like the Pelicans, but they are gonna be quieter and they're gonna roll smoother. So going through an airport or whatever your venue is or whatever your situation, these are gonna be a lot quieter and smoother action. Now let's check out the inside of this big dog. Can you, can you see me? Can you see me? You can't see me, okay. So the inside of this case is very similar to the Pelican 1615. It's got a ton of room in here. You can add different organizers on the lid. You can add different foam and organizer options in the inside, but you can fit all of the luggage you'd ever need in here. That's good for those long trips or if you just have a lot of extra gear. Of course, you don't have to use this just for luggage. This is great for carrying around drums, music equipment, guitars, and since this is more of a music-based channel, that's some of the things that would work really well in this case. Just like on the smaller cases, I really like Nanook's TSA lock options. That recessed eye grommet is just a little cleaner and it seems a little bit more secure. Now, there's one major problem with this case. This case is really heavy. This thing is over 22 pounds. Now that might not seem like a lot, but when you have the Pelican 1615 Air, that's right around 15 pounds, having a seven pound difference is massive, especially if you're taking it on flights because most airlines, if it's over 50 pounds, you have to pay major overage fee. If you don't care about the overage fees, then this thing is an amazing option. Doesn't mean that this case is completely unusable. This thing would be really great for touring musicians, throwing it on the bus, throwing it in the trailer where the weight isn't nearly as big of a factor. That extra weight does give the case a lot of nice rigidity, but it is a downside of it because it, now it's heavier that you have to carry your stuff as well. It does have wheels so you can wheel it around, but when you're schlepping it and trying to throw it on stages and in trailers and buses and on planes and stuff, that is something you really need to consider with this. As far as the warranty goes, this case comes with a limited lifetime warranty and it's made in Canada. When you open up this case, you get it some goodies. You get a sticker. You can't go wrong with a sticker. You have to have a sticker. You get some info on Nanook and some of their other cases. But the most important thing that all of their cases come with is this wonderful card that tells you don't put babies in here. Nobody puts baby in a corner. Thank you, Nanook, for making sure that I knew not to put a child in here. 
So pros and cons on this case. Pros, it's super strong. The latches are fantastic. I really love the wheels and the handles on this and the size makes this incredibly usable. The cons, it's really just one and that is the weight. It is heavy. Now, that might not be a deal breaker for you and for me, I would still use this and I still will use this in doing more of like road dates and things that I'm actually able to transport it to but it is not going to be an option for me when I'm flying. It's just too heavy and it doesn't give me enough leeway of what I can put in here. If you're interested in buying this or any of the other Nano cases, I have links in the description down below. And when you do that, it helps out the channel quite a bit. Make sure you ask me questions. If you have any other things you want me to cover on these, make sure you let me know in the comment section below. As always, thank you guys. Have a good one.